As we transition into the cooler months, you'll frequently hear us talking about cold fronts here on Sky News Weather. But what are they and what kind of weather do they produce? Here's a classic example on a cold front drawn on a synoptic chart. It looks like a few sharks swimming in the Great Australian Bight. And indeed, there are great white sharks often in that area. Now, these cold fronts are very important to weather forecasters and indeed people on the ground because outside of the tropics, cold fronts are responsible for much of the rain that falls. Let's have a look at exactly what a cold front is. It is the boundary between two different air masses of contrasting temperature. In Australia, to the east of a front, you'll have a warm air mass. Behind a front, you'll have a cold air mass. So as a cold front moves through, you'll often see a sudden drop in temperatures. On occasion, that can be more than 10 degrees in 24 hours, but often you could see a drop of more than five degrees in the matter of minutes. And along that front, the warm air will rise above the cold air as warm air is less dense than cold air. And because the air is rising, that will lead to cloud cover. And that's why cold fronts are important, particularly to farmers, because they do bring much of the rainfall that we receive in the winter. Here's a good example of what it looks like on a satellite image. This is a cold front that hit the south coast of Western Australia on Wednesday morning, this band of cloud. Behind the cold front, you often see a speckled cloud formation. That's an indication of very cold polar air. And that speckled cloud often brings much of the snow that we do see across the Alps during the winter. And here's a shot, what it looks like on the ground. Mandura on Wednesday morning with a cold front approaching. The skies become dark and the rain falls. Hopefully we will see numerous cold fronts over the next few months, finally bringing some good rain to southern Australia.